Today's topic is Autism Spectrum Disorder. Autism Spectrum Disorder is a range of neurodevelopmental disorders that involves delays in the development of many basic skills and functions, including the ability to socialize and to communicate. Autism Spectrum Disorder includes conditions such as autism, Asperger's Syndrome, Childhood Disintegrative Disorder, and an unspecified form of Pervasive Developmental Disorder. The American Psychiatric Association reclassified Pervasive Developmental Disorder to Autism Spectrum Disorder. The name change came in 2013. Doctors don't use the term PDDs anymore. The condition begins early in childhood and lasts throughout a person's life. It causes problems with functioning in society. Autism spectrum is estimated to affect about 62.2 million globally as of 2015. Males are more often diagnosed than females. Causes. The exact cause of the condition is unknown. The research suggests that genes can act together with influences from the environment to affect a child's development in a way that brings about autism spectrum disorder. Some certain factors that may make a person be at a higher risk of developing autism spectrum disorder may include a family history of the condition, being male, having certain genetic conditions such as Down syndrome, Fragile X syndrome, and Rett syndrome, having older parents, extremely preterm babies, babies born before 26 weeks of gestation may be at a greater risk, other disorders such as tuberous sclerosis. Symptoms. Symptoms usually are seen by the age of two years. Children with this condition can display a unique pattern of behavior and severity, ranging from mild to disabling. People with autism spectrum disorder generally have problems with social communication and interaction and patterns of behavior. Social communication and interaction symptoms are having poor eye contact and a lack of facial expression, failing to or being slow to respond to someone calling their names, resists cuddling and holding and seems to prefer playing alone, retreating into his or her own world, having difficulty with verbal communication, including problems using and understanding language, having difficulty with nonverbal communication, such as interpreting other people's gestures and facial expressions, having difficulty sleeping, having an aggressive behavior, difficulty expressing emotions or feelings and may be unaware of others' feelings, having an unusual tone of voice that may sound sing-song or robot-like. Patterns of behavior are usually limited and repetitive. They may include performs repetitive movements such as rocking, spinning, or hand flapping, have an over-interest or fixating on an object or an activity, performs activities that can cause self-harm such as headbanging, being more or less sensitive than others to sensory input, such as light, noise, develops specific routine or rituals and becomes disturbed at the slightest change, has food preference, such as eating only a few foods or refusing foods with a certain texture. Diagnosis There is no specific medical test to diagnose the condition. To make a diagnosis, a specialist may... Recommend genetic testing to identify a genetic disorder, such as Fragile X syndrome, Down syndrome, or Rett syndrome. Observe the child and ask the parents or guardians how the child's social skills and behavior have developed and changed with time. Give the child tests that cover hearing, speech, language, developmental level, and behavioral issues. Use and follow the criteria written in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, or DSM, published by the American Psychological Association. Treatment. There is no cure for this disorder, but intensive, early treatment can make a big difference in the lives of many children. The goal of treatment is to improve the ability of the child to function 
by reducing symptoms and supporting development and learning. Treatment options include therapy, such as behavioral and communication therapy, educational therapy, family therapy, speech therapy, and occupational therapy. The type of therapy depends on the child's need. The core symptoms of autism cannot be improved with medications, although medications such as antidepressants can help to control anxiety or antipsychotics for severe behavioral problems. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.